Oh my Jesus who said without me you can do nothing prepare me in this moment to accompany thee in the way of the cross i shall find thee wounded without strength bleeding thy divine figure is very different from the one which the apostles contemplated on tabor or which walked over the waters or cured the sick in this divine tragedy i will see the ugliness and the wickedness of my sins stamped upon thee ah lord jesus pardon for such misery for such an enormous guilt which i have in thy torments for this i have recourse to the intercession of the sorrowful virgin may she cover me with her maternal mantle helping me to unite myself to thee and to embrace my cross amen The first station Jesus is condemned to death we adore thee o christ and we bless thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the whole world as christ majestically proclaimed to pilate his kingdom is not of this world but he wants to be the king of our hearts he is going to give himself up into the hands of his executioners out of love for us in this moment of his imprisonment shall we not offer him our hearts i do not want to be neutral like pilot before the divine appeal jesus implores me for my heart in this step of the passion he wants my sanctification o oh, my adorable jesus i see the enormous weight of my sins in the hatred of those who reject thee except lord my poor heart and reign over it as king and absolute lord so that i may never offend thee again our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen the second station jesus carries the cross we adore thee o christ and we bless thee because by thy holy cross thou has redeemed the whole world never could a roman be condemned to death by crucifixion because it was a symbol of dishonor reserved for the worst of criminals but the symbol of shame par excellence was embraced by jesus he carried his own cross in this step of the passion jesus carries on his adorable shoulders my sins yet the divine redeemer is a king so grandiose that he transforms the cross into an object of elevated nobility it will adorn the crowns of kings rise up on top of the churches 
and will enkindle the enthusiasm for all those who know its true value. O my Jesus, seeing thee kneeling down to embrace the cross, I throw myself at thy feet, humble and contrite. How many innumerable times have I offended thee? Pardon me, my Lord, pardon. Consume all my sins in this infinite mercy and transform them into one more crown of thy glory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the whole world. How terrible are our sins! They cause the fall of a God-made man. The exhaustion produced by the flagellation, followed by the crowning of thorns and the night without sleep, made him lose his strength. He could have refused to continue on his way of the cross, but he wished to teach us never to be discouraged. In this station, he shows us that he is ready to raise us up from our falls, no matter how low they may be. O oh Jesus, chastised for my crimes and crushed by my unfaithfulness, how must I adore Thee and thank Thee for having raised me up from my faults? Raise me up from the situation in which I find myself and produce in me a true conversion so that I may return to the way of my salvation and may never be discouraged. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the whole world. 
Mary by her wisdom knew profoundly the immense gravity of sin but was it necessary to suffer for sinners to this point who could imagine a scene more tragic a swirl of sorrow penetrated her most pure soul and they are left a piercing suffering o sorrowful mother pardon pardon me for the great guilt which i have in this step of the passion i recognize my faults and thank you for having united yourself to the torments of your divine son to redeem me o sorrowful mother i invoke this holy exchange of gazes between mother and son in such dramatic circumstances to ask pardon for my sins our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen The fifth station Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry the cross We adore thee O Christ and we bless thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the whole world The centurion who commanded the Roman soldiers saw Simon Who was he We only know that he was from Cyrene He was almost anonymous but having been obliged to carry the cross with Jesus he participated in some way in the work of the redemption oh what an extraordinary example for me it is indispensable that i take up the cross of my responsibility my humiliation the cross of honesty of rectitude of conscience of the practice of virtue oh jesus who in this step of thy passion asketh for my help here i am to serve thee o lord i want to follow thee with my cross help me to help thee o lord our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen
the sixth station veronica wipes the face of jesus we adore thee o christ and we bless thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the whole world vera icona means the true image this is the significance of the name of the one who took pity on jesus and wiped his face what could he offer her at that moment in retribution for such an eminent gesture his own face jesus wanted to leave us this precious image and likewise whenever i console him in some way his face his physiognomy will be imprinted on my soul i will be another christ if throughout my life i strive to help my neighbor follow the ways of the gospel the ways of salvation the face of christ will be imprinted on my spirit i will become similar to him lord now i understand with the help of thy grace the meaning of thy commandment love one another as i have loved you our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen the seventh station jesus falls the second time we adore thee o christ and we bless thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the whole world in spite of the help of the cyrenian jesus's strength keeps diminishing with each step and the cross comes crashing down who then on falling a second time in such circumstances would not let himself remain on the ground the opportunity to give up carrying the cross had arrived how swave were those stones on the way compared to the sufferings which were ahead once more jesus wanted to show us how our confidence should be even when we fall again into the same faults the savior is always ready to pardon us having assumed our guilt he will never cease to raise us up by the infinite merits of thy second fall confirm me in thy grace through mary most holy i implore thee our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed
through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Station. Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the whole world. Jesus, although immersed in the torments of his passion, walked towards the triumph of the completion of his mission. But in his infinite justice, he did not omit to warn the women of Jerusalem of the necessity of doing reparation for their collective sin. It was not enough to be moved witnessing the tragedy of a God mistreated. It was indispensable to placate the divine anger against the nation because of the crime committed. O Jesus, Lord of justice, who rewards all good and punishes all evil, Give me the grace to have a full consciousness of my deeds, my crimes and my sins, so that I may ask the forgiveness with sincerity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Ninth Station Jesus falls the third time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the whole world. Many mysteries surround the third fall of Jesus. What help did the Cyrenian provide to carry the cross? Why did he not take on his shoulders the heavier part? Once more, the image of human misery presents itself before our eyes. If I was the Cyrenian, would I have acted differently? How many times have I not been relaxed in the fulfillment of my duties, in the practice of virtue, in avoiding occasions which led me to sin? How far am I from perfection? How many times have I permitted Jesus to be almost crushed by his cross without bothering to help him. O my Jesus, I thank thee for the example of thy generosity. I thank thee for having given over thyself entirely to me in this step of thy passion, and I ask thee efficacious graces to serve thee continually with a disinterested love and a strong will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Tenth Station Jesus is Stripped of His Garments We adore Thee, O Christ, and we bless Thee, because by Thy Holy Cross Thou hast redeemed the whole world. Who could imagine so great a humiliation? Jesus, the Creator of modesty itself, and the One who possesses it to the most perfect degree, is stripped of His clothes in front of all those people. Perhaps he deigned to suffer even this shame himself as a reparation for the immorality and the lack of modesty in the clothes of future times. For the fashions which receive the grave censure of Our Lady in Fatima. For his tunic they decided to cast die because the soldiers felt that they were dealing with an article of great value, since he didn't have a single seam from top to bottom. The Holy Church is symbolized in its perfect unity by this seamless tunic. She demands a total union among all her faithful without any division. O oh my Jesus, grant that I may practice in a very high degree the angelic virtue of purity, and also grant that I may love the unity of the Holy Catholic Church and work for its expansion throughout the world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the whole world. Crucified, the same cross that had weighed so heavily on his shoulders would be the instrument of his death. His arms were open to attract all men to himself. The apex of the malice of his enemies arrives to the point of crucifying him between two thieves so that he may be considered one among them. Nothing was lacking for him to suffer up to the very limits of endurance. 
O my Jesus, I see in this meditation the drama of the madness of the love of a God for His creatures. If I was the only one to have sinned, Thou wouldst have acted in the same way. And so, I affirm with all certainty, Thou art crucified for me. Grant me the same graces that Thou didst pour out upon the good thief, so that I too may one day be with Thee in Paradise. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Twelfth Station Jesus Dies on the Cross We adore Thee, O Christ, and we bless Thee, because by Thy Holy Cross Thou hast redeemed the whole world. He bowed His head and gave up His spirit, says the Gospel. From His side came forth blood and water, which symbolized the sacraments of the Church indispensable for our salvation. O my Jesus, there is no greater proof of love. Thou didst give thy most precious life for me, and this same sacrifice is repeated every day on the altar in the Mass, allowing me to benefit from it totally. Our Lord, accept my poor being, my body, my soul and all that belongs to me now and in the future. Everything is yours, Lord, and to thee I give all in restitution through Mary Most Holy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Thirteenth Station Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore Thee, O Christ, and we bless Thee, because by Thy holy cross Thou hast redeemed the whole world. O sacred body of Jesus, seen Thee without life, 
I feel my heart weep. Those hands that gave orders to the seas and to the tempests, that expel the winters from the temple, and performed so many miracles throughout Israel, do not move any more. Thy feet that walked over the waters and traversed all the territories searching for the needy are now motionless. Thy voice, which made the Pharisees tremble, but which sweetly pardoned the repentant sinners, can no longer be heard. Thy whole body is but one wound. O sorrowful virgin, I implore thee the singular grace to maintain within me through the rest of my life this terrible image of the gravity of sin. Pardon my mother, pardon me, and help me never to sin again. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the whole world. He who has faith can adore Jesus in body and divinity present in the tomb. This was the great consolation of the holy women. And due to this affirmed Saint Jerome, the women persevered in their duty, waiting for that which Jesus had promised. For this reason, they were favoured to be the first to see the resurrection, because the one who perseveres till the end will be saved. Happy are the holy women, and much happier are we, because we have Jesus in body, blood, soul and divinity in the Eucharist in which we adore him under the appearance of bread and wine. O Holy Virgin, obtain for me from Jesus lying in the tomb confirmation in the grace of God, so that one day I can resurrect for eternal glory. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Final Prayer in thee, O sorrowful virgin, 
He's found the synthesis of all the episodes that we meditated upon. What mystical graces were considered to thee in the midst of those anguishes? Graces of participating in the same sufferings as those of the Redeemer. It was not without reason that in a certain sense thou art called the co-redemptrix. It is to thee that I have recourse when I am mourning under the weight of my sins with an unshakable conviction that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection and implored thy help was left unaided. Grant, O Mary, that having meditated on these steps of the passion of Christ, I may learn from thee to love Christ as thou dost love him and to surrender myself entirely to Christ as thou hast done. I ask thee most holy virgin for all the graces for my sanctification and for the church to arrive to the plenitude of its splendor and grace. Amen.